being produced at Profile, it's actually the first time that I've been produced in Portland. So it's particularly exciting to me. When I try to think about how Portland influenced me as a writer, I think that there's a certain solitude that I had. What I strive to do in my plays are tell very intimate stories that can also be viewed within their larger social or political context. So that you have a micro focus on the individual or the family or the relationship and a macro focus on the society or the world. So sometimes that's through history, as in Blue Door. And sometimes that's through two people's life, as in Bright Half-Life. And in The Call, it's the globe. It's people across continents. Blue Door was a play that really did reveal itself to me in the process of writing it. I had no idea that I was going to write this play. And I actually wrote the character of Simon first. And he really spoke to me, was very evocative for me as a character. And then as I was writing it, I thought to myself, well, Simon has to be talking to someone. And whoever he's talking to has to need to hear his story. And so that's how the protagonist, Lewis, came into being. Bright Half-Life is a play that spans many years, decades, in fact. And the structure of the play resembles one's life. That in our, in our lives, the way we live our lives, we live our lives chronologically. But the way we think about our lives is beyond chronology. What I was trying to do with Bright Half-Life was think about a life as a whole thing, a love story in an expanse of time. Because the way we connect our lives, or at least the way I connect my life, is not linearly. And then when I wrote The Call, I was afraid that it was going to be autobiographical and I didn't want to write autobiography, partly because of my kids, partly because I don't really want people in my business. I really wanted to write a play that felt different than my other plays. So, and I wanted to challenge myself. I wanted to write a linear play and tell a story in that way. The Antigone Project was a project um, in which the Women's Project Theater commissioned five playwrights to write a different aspect of the Antigone story. I've always been drawn to the story of Antigone. It spoke to me. The themes of Antigone are very evocative. And I found that I looked at history in a way that I hadn't before. I think why theater is so important as a medium of storytelling is because it's live, because it's unexpressible because it only happens in that moment. So the play you see one night and the play you see another night are two different plays. And there's a communion that happens between the actors and the audience. You don't find that in other mediums. You don't find that in novels. You don't find that in TV and film. There's something about theater that is so vital and so important. I, I want us to go deeper, go farther. That doesn't mean tragedies and stuff like that. It just means getting closer to the source.